was infuriating. What did Dorian do now? Oh, what did she do? Mm. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. And that's the whole point. We are co-chairing the Go Red Ball, which is tonight. And I just found out this morning that she did not finalize any of the arrangements she was responsible for. Oh, were you able to cover it? Yeah, with a lot of cajoling and wheedling and a lot of arm twisting. I swear, if that event were not literally dear to my heart, I would never have agreed to work with her again. Okay, okay, you did it because that's just the way you are, hmm? Oh, you can keep telling me that. Yeah, yeah. Hey, hmm. how's Chloe? Mm, she's getting hungry. I think it would be a good idea to get both girls fed and bathed before we leave so that Jesse won't have quite so much to do while we're at the ball, okay? Wait a minute, you're not planning on leaving Jess alone with the girls, are you? You know what? Jared and I are going to stay home tonight so we can take care of Brie and Chloe. No, no, you will do nothing of the sort. Hey, what do you say if we get dinner ready with the kids, huh? I was planning on making tortellini for Brie, the pray go heart and healthy sauce that she likes. It's on the counter. Where on? <laughs> Come here. Come here. Oh. Bye, sweetie. So you know all of Chloe's and Brie's likes and dislikes, don't you? Is that a problem? I just wish you'd share that information with your sister. <laughs> so, are you going to tell me again how wrong I am for being concerned about leaving two little girls alone with someone who's capable of murder? Well, I'm not saying that you don't need to worry about them. She tried to kill Jared and me, Mom. And darling, I am not minimizing what you went through. This isn't about me. Or forgiveness. This is about safety. Honey, I've been through this, okay? You haven't. And believe me, I would not be here now if people had not been kind enough to be understanding and to forgive me. And that includes you. Jessie would never, ever hurt her children. Even when Tess was in control, she was a good mother. No, no, Mom, you weren't there. Tess was way too busy with her plans for Jared and me to spend any time with Bree. She dumped her at Todd's house and then went off by herself to have Chloe at the cottage. Okay. <clears throat> in any case, Jessie will not be alone with the children tonight. Lois will be here. And I want you to be with me at the ball. I want you to put on a gorgeous dress and walk into that room with your very handsome fiancé. And enjoy yourself. I really want to share this with you. Please. What happened? <laughs> what, uh, you ever had a kid give you the raspberry with a mouthful of spaghetti sauce? Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, you get Natalie to agree to go tonight? Yeah, yeah, I put that fire out. Mm. Charlie, mm. <clears throat> there's another fire burning, a major one, and it is out of control. Dorian. Oh, yeah. Her behavior was so strange earlier. I smell a great big fat rat. And I'm convinced she's going to sink those pointy little teeth of hers into David. You know what? Maybe Mom's right. I should really try to give Jess another chance. Sweet. Look, I get it, okay? You're worrying about the kids. I worry about them, too, but I think it might be best for all of us to try and look ahead. Like this wedding that we need to start planning. Don't you people answer phones? I've been calling to set up Dorian's. But you found her in Vickers. Not yet, but Vicky might be able to help. Is she here? Yeah, yeah, she's in there. Uh, Mom, Rex needs to see you. I just came from La Boulet. Mo and Noel told me that you were there when Dorian showed. Where did she go after? Do you know? No, I don't know. But Rex, what is going on? Every time I see you, you're chasing David and Dorian. Do you know what she's up to? Sorry, Vicky, I'd like to tell you, but I, I can't. Oh. Oh, great. Oh, great. She is up to something. That's just wonderful. I, I don't know where she is. Thanks, anyway. Keep at it. Too many people know the truth now. Somebody is bound to tell Vickers, and we're running out of time. Think I don't know that? 
Uh, can I help you? Uh, hey, I'm looking for uh, Jessica Brennan. She's not in right now. Well, well, I work construction at the vineyard site. I found this while we're clearing the cottage today. Oh, gosh. She must have left it there when she had the baby. Well, I thought she might want it back, you know, with all the family pictures and all. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, thank you no. so much. No, thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh. Look, I mean, everything is in here. Credit cards, I mean, cash. What's this? It looks like a parking pass from Blandview Hospital. That's the day that Chloe was born. Wait, so Tess went to the hospital the day Chloe was born? No, that doesn't make any sense. I mean, if she went to the hospital, why in the world would she leave and then go have the baby at the cottage? I don't know. Maybe she thought she was okay. This is for short-term parking. I mean, if, if she went there, why in the world would she park in short-term? Why wouldn't she go to the emergency room parking? What time was she there? I, I, don't, I don't know. I, I, I can't read it. It's too light. But what was she thinking? <laughs> Chloe could have died. Holy <laughs> Joe. For tonight, anyway, okay? Chloe is fine, and nothing that Tess did that night matters now. I have to remember. Yes, you're right. I mean, Tess should have stayed at the hospital, but she didn't, and everything turned out all right. So, what's the big deal, right? Hey there, you two. We're going to go get ready. I need her to help me time my time. All right, we're going to go get ready, too, okay? Yeah. You, you coming? Uh, you know what? I'm going to grab a water out of the fridge. You want one? Uh, sure. Okay. 